Hey y'all, it's Paris and I'm back with another video. Today I just wanted to make a video about how God provided for me financially. So if you guys are new to my channel, you may not know, but I quit my job on May the 6th. Shortly after I quit my job, I immediately started applying to other jobs. And I also um, went ahead and got my life coaching certificate. So now I'm a certified life coach. If any one of you guys, you know, uh, want to book a session with me. But anyways, um, I got my life coaching certificate and then um, I was still applying for, you know, other jobs. Well, I felt like God was telling me to stop applying and he was just like, you know, just stop. And so I stopped applying and I was like, Okay, God, if you're telling me to stop, this must mean that you're about to bring me a bunch of clients because I need some money. So anyways, even though I have money in my bank account, I'm just like, well, at some point it's going to get low because right now I'm just, you know, only depending on the money that I make from booking sessions. So you have to bring in some money somehow, right? So anyways, you know, I'm still, you know, doing what I need to do. And I'm just seeing money just go left and right because I have to pay my bills. Um, I have a house now, so I have someone to cut my grass. That costs money and it's not cheap. Um, so it's just a lot of things that cost money. And I'm just like, God, I need you to provide for me in a way to where I know that I'm going to be stable and even though, you know, he's bringing me clients, it's still not enough. And so anyways, during this time, I felt led to check my school's website because right now I'm in college. And so um, he told me, God told me to, you know, check my, my school's website. So I go on there and the first thing I see on the front page is that uh, they're giving out this grant you know, only to a, a certain amount of people. But anyways, they wanted to give out a grant to people who have been affected by COVID. And basically, um, they were saying that, you know, if you had to upgrade your lap your laptop or if you had to, you know, upgrade your Wi-Fi, you know, while you were in school, um, you know, this grant may be for you. So I'm thinking about it. And I'm like, well, I did have to get a, get a new laptop and I did have to upgrade my Wi-Fi. So let me just go ahead and apply. And I was like, maybe God is going to provide for me this way. But I wasn't sure. But I was like, you know what? If it's for me, it's for me. So I'll go ahead and I apply. And I remember on the website, it said that if I got approved, I would receive money the week of June the 28th or the following week after that. And so I was like, okay, maybe God is going to bless me this way. So fast forward, you know, a week goes by, I get an email and it's about, um, this job. And basically it was a job that, you know, I was qualified for. So I was like, now God, I know you told me to stop applying a long time ago, but are you saying that you want me to get this job? And so I prayed about it and he was like, this, this is what I want you to have. And so, um, I reached back out to them. I emailed them back and I interviewed with them. And within that third day, I got the job. And, and if you watched my last video, you know that they were offering more money than I've ever made at a job. Okay. So even though this is great, this is a blessing, but I was still needing money because I have I have not started the job yet. I've gotten the job. I've, you know, gotten a job offer, but I haven't started making money yet because I haven't started working, right? So I'm like, okay, God, I don't want to sound ungrateful, but you gave me a job before you gave me money. And I was like, God, you know, my bills are about to be due next week. So that doesn't make sense. And again, I'm saying to myself, well, I'm praying to God, like, God, I'm not trying to sound ungrateful, but you gave me a job before you gave me money. And so at this point, I'm getting frustrated because I'm like, God, 
I'm not, I'm, I'm not seeing what, I, what I'm praying for. And so I'm still trying to hold on to my faith. I'm still watching YouTube videos. I'm trying to motivate myself. I'm still reading the Bible, but it's just hard. It's getting hard. So at this point, y'all, at this point, I'm checking my bank account and I'm going to be honest at this point. My bank account was at $12.86. Just yesterday, it was $12.86 left. And I said, God, you got to do something. You've already blessed me with the job, but I need you to bless me with money like now, like now. And so I'm just praying and I'm praying and I'm praying. So... Today, I don't know, I don't know what, you know, made me check my bank account, but, um, I checked my bank account and I just assumed, I just assumed that it was still going to be 1286, but I checked it anyway. Y'all, I'm not going to tell you the amount that's, that's in my account right now, but I will say this, God blessed me with more than enough more than enough. Okay. More than enough. If I don't want to start this new job for the next two months, I'm okay. I'm okay. So when I was almost about to lose faith, when I was almost about to lose faith, God dropped the money into my account. And guess where the money came from? The grant. The grant did not come because remember they said they was gonna do it the week of June the twenty eighth or the week after. Okay, today is J July the third, so that's when they blessed me. Okay, July the third. So I was about to freak out because my bills they're normally due around the you know fifteenth or sixteenth. And so I was just worrying because I'm like, God, it's getting closer. It's getting closer. And not only that, I know next Saturday, because today is Saturday. So by the time you watch this video, it's going to be Sunday. But I know next Saturday, I have to pay um, a guy to cut my grass and it's not cheap. And so I was like, God, I only have $12 in my account. How am I going to pay him? And I'm not, I already knew I was not about to let my grass grow high because when it gets high, that means that, um, I have to pay my, uh, the person who cuts my grass, I have to pay them more. So anyways, I was just like, God, I'm gonna have to pay them somehow. And then again, like I said, I'm thinking about, you know, gas, I'm thinking about my bills. So I was worrying and God had it the whole time. The whole time. He blessed me right on time. Right on time. Not only that, my new job, I have to dress business casual, right? So I'll be like, God, how am I going to start this job? And I don't even have, I have $12 in my account. How am I going to buy some outfits? Some business casual outfits, guys. I went shopping today, okay? I went shopping today. I got me a bunch of business casual clothing. Now, does that mean that I went out splurging? No, I didn't do that. But I got what I needed. And so I'm sharing this testimony to show you guys that when you're about to give up, God will bless you. Just when you're about to give up, God will show up right on time if you trust him. Now, this is not the first time that I've quit my job. This is not the first time that I've trusted God for money. So I knew to, to, to hold on to my faith, but I every single time God puts me or places me in this particular position to, to depend on him, I always get weary toward the end. It's like I'm doing good in the middle. I'm doing good in the beginning, but toward the end when my money is getting low, that's when I start to get weary. So I'm sharing this with you guys for the ones who are believing God for some money. 
God is going to provide if you trust him, if you trust him, trust those nudges. Like when God is telling you, if, if you feel like a nudge right here, or just however God nudges you, trust those nudges because I felt, felt a nudge to check my school's website. And when I checked it, cause I had no reason, I had no reason to check the website because I don't even start school um, until August. But I just felt the nuts to check it. And when I checked it, there was the grant just sitting right there. So if God is telling you to do something, do it. Obey him because you never know how God is going to bless you. You never know. So um, this is my testimony. Uh, God did it supernaturally. And it's crazy because God blessed me with a job before he gave me the money. He could have, he could have gave me the money first because that would have made sense to me. He could have given me the money first and then blessed me with the job. But he said, no, I'm about to bless you with the job first so that you can have faith for the money. So I hope that this video has encouraged you guys and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye y'all.